Hey everybody, this is Mark, and in this video, I wanna show you how you can copy and paste on the iPhone. If you are new to the iPhone and iOS, or if you've just never really done something like this before, it can be a little bit complicated and confusing at first, but copying and pasting is actually super easy on the iPhone and way easier than Android. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'm gonna show you how to copy and paste um, text and links and if you ever want to paste anything else, the process is essentially going to be exactly the same. So what we've got right here um, is a little bit of text and I said copy this, not this. So we're going to go through copying sections and also whole paragraphs at the same time. So let's actually go ahead and add a little bit more and we'll say paragraph two. Okay, so let's just go ahead and copy the first part that says copy this. If you're using iPhone 6s, 7, 8, or 10, you can use the keyboard to not only move the cursor, but also select text. So let's go ahead and show you that real quick. If you're not on those devices, then just stick around. I'll show you how to do it manually. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and 3D touch our keyboard, and we will go ahead and move our cursor to the word we want to copy. Then we'll go ahead and press even harder, and that will then select the word. We can let off and select that one word, or we can drag and keep selecting. So I'm gonna do that first part, and now it should come up with a box saying that you wanna copy or paste. There's bugs in iOS and it may not come up. You'll just have to tap it again, tap the selection, and we'll get all of our options. Now I will say copy. We'll go into um, another note, and we will tap once. Once the cursor is blinking, then it will come up with the box and we will say, paste and there you go we've just copied and pasted a selection of text now what if you're on another ios device well what you want to do is go ahead and put your cursor at the on top right behind the word you want to copy or you can put it at the end i prefer at the beginning we will then go ahead and tap and hold on the word we want to select we will say select and we will drag the arrow key the little knob down to the end and then we will say copy and then pasting will be exactly the same way. Now a third alternative way to selecting text is to double tap on the word you want to copy. That will select it automatically, and then we can go ahead and drag the rest of the stuff that we want. Now, what if I want to copy multiple paragraphs? Well, we'll go ahead and select our first word by either um, selecting and holding or double tapping. I double tapped in this case. Then we will go ahead and grab the end key and we will just go ahead and drag it all the way down until we can see that we've copied everything. And again, we'll go ahead and copy, go back into our other document, tap once, once the cursor is blinking, and we'll select paste. And there you go, we just go ahead and copied and pasted everything. So let's say I want to share a link with someone for uh, anything online. What you want to do to go ahead and copy and paste the links is to go ahead and find the link we want to copy. So I'm on Red's website and, um, there's some tips and tricks. I wanna go ahead and share this with someone. So we'll find the link. The link says learn more. We'll go ahead and tap and hold on that link. And then it will bring up a little action menu. And what we'll do is go ahead and say copy. And that will go ahead and copy the link. And we can go to wherever we want. And once the cursor is blinking again, we'll tap once. It'll bring up a box. And again, we'll press paste. And there you go. We now have our link to Red's website on that article. But there you go, those are the basics on how you copy and paste on the iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, any iOS device. It's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I know Android is a little more confusing, so if you want me to make a video on that, let me know and we can get something up for you guys as well. But other than that, that's gonna do me for this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. This is Mark with Apple Tech One Tweet, and I will see you in the next one.